goes without saying the impact Merle had here at home and, and what spread across the country and known as the Bakersfield Sound silent tonight as we lost a legend. And I'm proud to be a rookie from Muskogee. Merle Ronald Haggard being remembered today as a pioneer and giant in country music. One of the founding members of the Bakersfield Sound, Haggard's contribution to country music spans generations. First thing I remember knowing is the lonesome whistle blowing. Born in a boxcar in Oildale in 1937, Haggard's life began with adversity. His father passing away when he was just nine years old, an event he would go on to say deeply affected his childhood and himself later in life. Memories and drinks don't mix too well. His music and songwriting, a reflection of that struggle, a window into the world of a man who often dealt with marital issues and frequent run ins with the law. I raised a lot of kings. Back in my younger days. In 1957, married and plagued with financial problems, Haggard was sent to jail after trying to rob a Bakersfield Roadhouse. I'd run the lawn, spend my life in jail. He later would try to escape jail and was sent to San Quentin Prison in 1958. There, he would witness the first known live prison concert by Johnny Cash. Listening on, Hagger would later recall that moment as the inspiration for his musical career. I live the kind of life that most men only dream of. A career that produced more than 40 number one hits, including one of his best known songs, Oki from Muskogee. I'm proud to be an Oki. His songs and songwriting often reflecting a man who was outspoken about his political views during the Vietnam era. When they're running down our country, man, they're walking on the fighting side of me. His music exposing us to a blue collar life centered around family and the battle to make a better life for his children. His son, Ben, a musician himself, today taking to Facebook posting a picture of a son holding his father's hand for the last time, saying in his post that his father told him a week ago that he was going to pass on his birthday, saying he was the best country music singer that ever lived. So tonight, we remember the last living country legend to come out of Bakersfield and putting Bakersfield on the country music map. And giving us all here at home music that will live on forever. Sing me back home, or I die. People listening to that song today and remembering just that music, that iconic sound that came right out of Bakersfield and touched so many lives.